Hello and welcome back to Code Buds with Nerf. Hi. Hi. I'm here. Hi. So we have I did my job. I went and looked through the code. <laughs> it's a good answer. I, I really appreciate knowing this now. So the way that the code is written, every time a drop of nectar recipe is eaten, it uses an RNG channel that is unique to the drop of nectar recipe. So theoretically, it should always pull the same result. Meaning you can't you can't load a checkpoint and then get a different seed. You can't. You shouldn't be able to psychometry. You shouldn't be able to do anything that permutes it. You can't cook with a different recipe to try and re-roll the recipe. I mean, if it had a drop of nectar in it, sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, right. but it'll still be but nothing yeah, happened. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It'll still say nothing happened because nothing happened is the next result in that RNG channel. Did I talk about RNG channels already on this? Uh, I think I did. You might have. But just in case you didn't see that other episode. Oh, what do we got here? Brathermite. We got the esteemed Brathermite Tutor. Oof. Which, <sighs> and I, some Dong Glider friends over there. I fear that he is not long for this world. Or, sorry, they, because it's a robot. It? It? I, I never feel good about that. They. They. Got it right. I mean, we have uh, extended pronouns, so it could have been many things. That's why I was looking. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. It actually is still, we could still be wrong with they until we actually talk to them. Beep boop. Will we combustion? Oh, flamethrower. I love a flamethrower. Flamethrower is pretty good. If you had a weapons rack, could you conceivably wield a freeze ray and flamethrower? Probably. Heck yeah. I know there is a weapon that does both. I, that's not what I want. <laughs> I know that uh, it may not make a lot of sense, but uh, bionic arm. Love me a bionic arm. What did, uh, I'm pretty sure we could learn that. Willowy is great. I, I've yes. very recently come around to Willowy. So, uh, Willowy is especially good. So RNG channels. Yeah. Uh, basically, every time the game rolls something, it rolls a number on some program like... You, you know computers can't actually create random numbers, right? Like What? Yeah. No, I knew that. Oops. Or that is to say, it's really difficult to make it pretend like it can? Yeah. Properly? Well, random numbers in general are basically done using some sort of PRNG. You know, like it's like pseudo random number generation. Meaning like the results to human brain appear random. And when you're doing things on the scale of like one in a hundred or, you know, one in four chance, it's going to be random for all intents and purposes. But the number is predictable. The number that comes out of this RNG. Every time you ask for a random number with the same seed, you get the same result. And so... Ooh. Oh, friend? Yeah, that's a break even. It pretty much is... It's just annoying because we don't have any permanent way to get them to be our friends. No, um, you have uh, love, congealed love. Yeah, we do, we do have congealed love recipe, but again, it's not a permanent. Mm. It, it requires some luck also that he doesn't hit me. We, uh... We'll try one. Well, this isn't the one I was thinking of. It's a good one because it's level 7 8, but I was thinking just learning beguiling from cooking with congealed love. Ah, uh, yeah, that's another good way. Waiting for the day... What? Oh, I see. Waiting for the day you accidentally drink the cloning draught. <laughs> this will never not be funny to me internally. Just forcing yourself to drink a bunch of water to yeah. rock an effect, yeah. What you should do is... Um, I think you have some mushrooms now, right? So you could try oh, yeah, try to get a water a mushroom one. Yeah. Yeah. We're not getting very lucky on this uh drink water trigger, are we? You keep rolling on the same random channel. Yeah, right. That there we go. Oh well, that Gershling died. They're still your enemy somehow. They shake it off. Um well they they're appearing red on the mini map. Try uh, waiting. Oh, this turn. probably just hasn't updated. Yeah. Oh beguiled. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're fine. The mini map just hasn't updated. Because the beguile happened mid-turn, so it probably, like, just hasn't updated. Might as well. Oh, man, like, all they care about is good stuff. They can uh, teach us lunge. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, we might as well bring it with us. For a while. <laughs> uh, actually, never mind. Uh, <laughs> what, what's wrong with this picture? The fact that he has, like, three Scorpioc followers, and I don't particularly want to have the beguile end and then have to deal with not killing him while also... 
not getting killed by his Scorpioc followers. Right. So yeah, RNG channels, you always get the same number if you are rolling on the same channel, is basically the answer to the channels thing. So most things in the game are just kind of all on one channel, but basically each creature has its own RNG channel, and then each creature... Well, theoretically, that drop of nectar thing that I was saying, it's interesting because like if you were to take that drop of nectar and give it to a different creature body, I think it would have a different result. Interesting, we just got to beguile somebody while we were auto-exploring there. How did that work? Uh, I just hit escape. We could have beguiled ourselves, maybe. Crash game. Um, did we, like, take a sip from our water and then someone was yeah, standing yeah. right next to us? No, there was no one standing next to us, but we would have been able to. Oh, I see. Um, oh, my God, another one. Wow. Lots of scorpion or uh, spider friends. Ooh. Okay, we can just kill this one. Yeah. Also, this one has an also has a rainbow cloak. I don't know if that's worthwhile to us. They're running. Don't forget, you can accidentally get um, disarmed. He's by your flying. Own. Flying spider. Spiders actually do that. Yeah. Love that. Vine weave. Ooh. Ooh. Fifty percent chance to wait. What? Mechanical wings. Oh, that's a that's a hard toss. Yeah. I mean, it's still worth picking up to sell. Yeah. I like considering where like it has two DV it makes it really good. Yeah, I didn't realize. Uh, th th did that say so? Like, is that fifty percent chance to refract light-based attacks? Yes, that's a absurdly high. So if you had like that and maybe um refract the mod on like all of your armor, you might have a really high chance to just like bounce back laser attacks. That also, I believe, um affects lithofex uh like sight attack, which I mean, only a fool would get. Uh, turned into a statue by a lithofix, you know, on the option. Gotta off be standing chance. pretty still. Yeah, or you know, get get turned into one get from an off, off camera lithofix. <laughs> Doesn't it like always make the tile go red though? Okay, so I am referring. No one's gonna know what I'm talking. I I uh, got turned into a statue once in one of my playthroughs, not from a lithofix that was right in front of me, but one was like off camera in the shadow and they were making the beam but they were making the beam on like i think it was either like fungled flooring or it was like speckled but the beam itself was really not visible and i think at the time um maybe this has been updated in uh like patch patches since then but <clears throat> the beam did not make like an opaque uh yeah. tile it it made it would just kind of flash the art on the tile and so if it was just like a little bit of stubble on the ground it, it wouldn't be very noticeable sure but um yeah if you say so well i mean i'll, I'll show you i'll show you the footage <laughs> no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah that was uh that was one of my most brutal deaths i think that that run had the best chance of actually seeing a win in a classic mode playthrough and i was just kind of like Getting bold. Uh, that and that guy was blasting with an electro bow. He started blasting. Dredger tubers. Turn those into salves. Oh, yeah, we did learn salve injector, didn't we? I turned them into salves. I forgot we had learned that from a banana earlier. <laughs> more and more, I'm uh, like trying to figure out how to best use congealed salve for good recipes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would ever use, um, I forget what it's called, what, what you turn Uber Nostrum into soul curd soul curd like i know you can buy soul curd i would buy soul curd but i yeah but never preserve it yeah the uber nostrum is uh too useful as being one of the very few ways that you can regenerate a limb quickly oh we're actually there really pretty many options for that less now well actually more now there's actually more now than when i started playing cud and i don't think that's true hmm because well, the beds and oh yeah you're right yeah the the bed in great great gate got nerfed to oblivion <laughs> it did i definitely took advantage of that one time where i just like dug into great gate it was like let me in my arm <laughs> i had no arm i have no arm but i must dig into great gate oh let's draw uh, the castle in red on the floor down there Oh, just a pretty picture. Mm, dang. I, I told Galen about this, the nano crayons, and he said, and you made me sell all those crayons. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're, you're right, I did. 
Ooh. Yeah, but now there's something for you to do with your crayons. Now there is something to do with your crayons. Uh, Those uh, infiltrators are kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, they are. I'm going to just kind of jump out of this a little bit. Uh, okay, get them, boys. <laughs> and so me and my three other selves started blasting. Did he TP out? Or did he just die and you didn't get credit? Oh, there he is. Oh, they got, like, pushed to the... Yeah, so, by the way, the problem right now with Fugue is that it just doesn't have a cooldown. We don't even need to take the... I saw this bug report. <laughs> so, like, how does that work? How are you just not having a cooldown? It It's just bugged and its cooldown isn't working. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so we were, like, trying to... Uh, mental gymnastics this, like... <laughs> exploit where it's like hey if we like disarm ourselves and re-get temporal fugue then we won't have a cooldown but in fact it just doesn't have a cooldown yeah it's just missing its cooldown entirely uh i don't remember where we are that doesn't feel right we're too far west we should be here yeah All there right. is a there is more in that ruin to explore but i understand bailing on it whoa we got disarmed i don't think there was there's a little bit of grassy yurt that's blocking a, an explore on your west side there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stupid <laughs> worm. <laughs> Stupid worm. Ooh, that four trash is going to make it all worthwhile. I'm wondering if the worm is hiding in here. There yeah, he cool. is. He's proud worm. Oh, yeah, we did act. Whoa. We got like three things from that. Whoa, yeah, four yeah. things. Did we get two bits of history? We got two bits and then one piece of history. Some Ixer Mask lore that we had not had. Well, you know, it all it all adds up in the end. Do we have uh, some cycle paste that we can? Oh, I guess you're yeah. inspired. We keep uh, we keep getting inspired before we the cycle gland paste. Oh, we still had to drop a nectar. May as well cook with that because it's not yeah. gonna add up. To it. We do have pickled mushrooms. We could we could uh, a mushroom pickle. Actually, just kind of want to try some random. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting close to the bottom. Are we at a good time for another uh, break soon? We are at 18 minutes. All right. That's not that. No. 25% chance you're immune to fungal. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, all of that is not great. Did you do uh, mushrooms with vine wafer? Oh, no. Pickles. Pickles yeah. also have thirsting effects. Yeah. We're inspired again. We can't go that way. We hit the bottom. Okay. Well, what am I? Oh, spiders. <laughs> Aren't we friends yet? I guess not. I guess we the keep. Battle of Ixer Mapsabad. <laughs> Ixer Masp, fifth fought as a mercenary to liberate urchins. He wielded a Lucent pistol with such artistry that it became rather known as Lucentius, the boon of urchins. Well, that's quite good. We're pistols. Yeah, it could be nice to get like a temporal feud pistol. Wait. Probably going to be in like the deep jungle, but. What are we wielding right now that gives. Uh, is it an axe? Yeah. Yeah, if we could. If we could like not use that, that would be kind of nice. All right back to the top or are we I mean is it is it uh Todd Howard among us time I'm just gonna finally pick up Spicer I've been playing around without that long enough wow we can take we can already master pistol yeah we can get fastest gun in the rust just need we don't have we haven't juke. picked up juke yet huh. yeah let's just uh take care of that we could get pointed circle is that an active or a passive I can never remember uh it's a passive it's just whenever you juke, uh, you attack, or you can attack. Could also pick up Tinker 2 already, which we might as well. We're going to want it. <laughs> oh, that's a hard choice, though. The extra ingredient for Sprayer Brain is really hard to get, if I remember correctly. The 5-bit? No, the, uh, like, it requires a, like, like how um, injectors require a random item that isn't a bit at all. No. Oh. I, actually I forget what sprayer brain requires, but I, I re remember it being very rare. I, I've, you know, it's funny. I've more often found the nano neuro matter thingy than I have the yeah. spray brain. Well, we learned geomagnetic disc anyway. It was uh, prophesized. It was, it was in the RNG channel. <laughs> no, actually, that's, that that uh... that's that's one example of something that's just kind of random. Like you can really do anything to make that one change. No, that's. Like, uh... That's the that's the secret. We manifested it into the current RNG yeah. table. Tinker three for Neon. Chance to dismember on penetration. Right. Does that stacks with serrated? 
I think it goes on different things than serrated. Oh. I think we had this conversation. Yeah. Like, I, I think Nanon is for pistols. I only recently yeah. uh, discovered that there was a there's a gaslight cudgel. Oh, we have another Eater's Nectar. Oh, nice. Did we ever draw something with that box of crayons that we have in our inventory? We might have. I think we did. A, let's just draw it with it now. Just to make and, sure that we did. And then, like, drop it? No, nah, and then just carry it forever. Oh, okay. So and that'd then, be really confusing. And then question this again in the next episode? Yeah, we'll just draw a bunch of Kessel faces all over Cut. Yeah. That's some real Moon King vibes, I gotta say. One of these days. The absolute ego of someone drawing Kessel faces, wanting to manifest them into reality. Isn't that what you're supposed to do to manifest things? That I don't know if that was in the secret. I don't know if it... Start, start by buying a pack of your favorite 24 colored Crayola crayons. Grab your favorite one and then draw a Kessel face. Just draw a bike. <laughs> Just a, a person drawing all over their house. What are you drawing, Mike? I'm drawing a new job. You're drawing the Kessel face. Draw the job you want to. Wait, how was how did that phrase? I have no idea. Je, there's dress for the job you want. You, you mean I, I can't remember how it goes. All right, so yeah, we explored that one. We did not explore this one. All right, I have found my why kill those guys. <laughs> Tar pools. There should be a chest here. Oh, oh, we're getting quite encumbered. Well, it's just because we have a bunch of random shit to disassemble. All right, <laughs> we'll just start making salves every time we end up with a dread root tuber in heck, our inventory. Heck yeah! Oh hey. Oh. I want to interact. It's my old treat friend. Scrap. Oh. I am. Treat a scrap. It's a terrible yeah. way to treat a friend. I mean, it's sixteen pounds. <laughs> I can't help it. Hey. Okay, so I think we're going these two. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we missed part of the desert with this fancy left rightness. I have no regrets. Of our, of our search pattern here. You, no just, you just proposed that so I would get really confused. <laughs> um, well, I mean, like, you can hardly say that the desert's cheated you. You've gotten some really nice oh, yeah. rip, rip drops. While traveling alone in the Nomad's district of Shock of Hear, Ixermosp the second made a solitary trek through a lifeless tundra. From that day forth, she was obsessed with miniature glaciers. Oh, that's uh, maybe how she arrived at the glacier boon. Or wasn't it friend of glaciers? Yeah, I forget. Friendly boon of the great glaciers. Glacier friend uh, of of the melt face. Did on my, uh, I did on my stream a couple weeks back encounter a mysterious stranger in the desert as I was lost. And I tried to ask them for directions to get unlost but they were also lost <laughs> yeah and so they couldn't tell me and uh so i just kind of moved on i eventually found my way and then i found them again and then told them gave them directions i didn't know that was even a thing you could do I said, you, yeah because you... creatures in the do have a small chance of spawning lost <laughs> that's so good Ooh, mirror shades oh hey a tube we don't know i don't even know what tube is left that's gonna point. be that's gonna be rubber gum injector. Calling it now. Let's start getting rid of some of the. <clears throat> Come on, rubber gum injector. Well, that one doesn't weigh anything. Uh, do either of these weigh anything? Yeah, that one weighs something. Here. No. Oh, shade oil. Shade oil. Dang. <laughs> There's something really funny to me. It was just like a pile of stuff, and then you realize Oops. it's all temporal. Ah oh, damn! I didn't get close enough before I started with the fugues. Why is just having bad luck with that? Uh. Oh, wait, actually, I'm curious. I know we still didn't learn it because it was Tinker 3. Do we have a ability point we can spend? Probably. I don't know that any more are going into intelligence, though. We do not. Shucks. Wait, I got off again. <laughs> Ooh, that's, this is, uh, is going to be pariahs. No, they're not pariahs. They couldn't be pariahs because they don't like you. What could they possibly be? I don't know. There's maybe, a legendary here. Maybe a cult? Ah, not a... Oh, very nice. Yeah. Not not a bad uh, luck you kill. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was going to happen, but... Yes, like Chris. I was just talking about that. Yeah. It's a cudgel. I think it's really strange that there is a gaslight cudgel. It's a it's a cudgel until it's powered, I think. Oh, really? That... Okay. All right. <laughs> well, uh, that makes me a dang fool, huh? Yeah. So there is, there is a gaslight long blade, right? Yeah, the... Uh, I believe the chisel is a long blade. Right. 
Well, uh, that's a, that's an episode where you, if you if you are also watching my mainstay series, you can go ahead and make fun of me on episode uh, twenty something, where I remark on the fact that my cast like Chris the cudgel. Look Did at that! You, you got sell the, it. You got the whole set. Oh wait, you dropped the whole set. Electrified, flaming, freezing. You were just uh, missing yep. um, nullifying. Oh, you found another village, or is this the same? No, village? it's the same one we've been to a couple times. This is a new thing. Oh, we found another. Oh, maybe this is uh, the same one. Stable space-time vortex. So wait a minute. A legendary prism perch. I'm just realizing something disturbing. If if a uh, drop of nectar is on its own uh, random channel. Yeah. Then does that mean that that trick no longer works where you can cook with neutron flux and then if it fails then you can cook with drop of nectar and it'll give you well, plus hold one. on let's see what neutron flux is on now that now that i know where the uh attribute uh or where cooking effects are we're looking for cooking uh armor really i don't know what the name of that domain is uh <laughs> density it's the density domain uh. Yeah, that's just on the standard RNG channel. So basically doing anything will cause a different result for neutron flux cooking. Ah, uh, geez. With the exception of cooking with a drop in neck. Uh, okay. I'm it's gonna... on its own channel. I'll have to do... I was going to do a whole tutorial video about this. Now I have to do extensive research. <laughs> but like basically anything can... Anything that rolls a one in a hundred chance. Right. Ooh. Oh, hey. Jeez, the luck. Bafokia. The good times that keep on rolling. Hmm. I think I might use this dude to get some breath in my rep. Okay. Six, huh. fin six fingered is quite nice. Ooh. Wow. That's a nice recoiler. That's an interesting one. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's a nice recoiler to find. I'll pick it up. The most useful <laughs> yeah. mod ever. We drinks. don't. We don't really need six fingered either because we have like so much agility already. What? Uh, what does sight night or night sight require? Oh, okay. Never mind. That's gonna be Tinker Three. Yeah. Is that like probably. night vision plus? I have no idea. Gives me the. I don't think I've used them. Standard caves of cud uh, language. Oh, they'll teach us the mod scaled. Oh. Oh yes. Oh nice. my goodness. <laughs> okay, we found that finally. Good uh, lord. Also, they'll teach us skulk injectors, so we don't need that. No, let's join us, <clears throat> and then give us all your stuff. Yeah. For we don't really have that much. I mean, it's just a uh, sell, like just sell all of that. Good bits, some books, and uh, did we not get the Bethesda Sousa recoiler? No, I didn't end up buying it. I just uh. For for fifty Barathir might rep. I I'd say just like, just steal it all from him. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I think we only have like a hundred. Like I think we're barely positive with Barathir mites right now, because like none of the bears were water ritualable. They were all hated by people we cared to not get hated by. Right. But, like, do you need a lot of Barathermite rep? I guess for that you need, one... You need one to guy. stay a little positive for right now. Okay. We still do need to do quests there. Well, right? uh, even if we're below zero, it's not like they're going to hate it, us. And they're... It's like minus 150 when they switch to attacking us, I think, or something like that. Minus 250, maybe. Yeah, okay. And there's been, like, now that we got this positive rep with this guy, we could go over to the dude we know we can kill. Well, I wasn't suggesting we kill this guy. I was suggesting we have him join us for 50 rep. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got you. We have I a lot of chem, we have a lot of chem cells. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's my secret pile of money. Let's just do <laughs> let's just do this because it's funny. Okay, I like that. Uh, oh, legendary mad pole. That's a secret we can throw in the trash. That's pretty funny. Uh, why don't we leave it there actually? Because we are at break time. Oh sure. Um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next time.